Glenn in Australia writes to me, Hey Paul, I'm currently looking at options to upgrade my phono stage and was hoping you could simplify an explanation of the variable typical on phono stages, like gain, input impedance, input capacitance. But I am focused on moving coil. Then maybe a response to reviews of the PS Audio Stellar stating extremely sensitive to grounding and outside interference, that worries me. From what I have read of the Stellar, I like and I would think it would be a great fit for me, but I'm concerned that noise will be introduced into my system. Okay, well, let's see. First off, I, don't worry about, <laughs> I, I don't know what all that's about. There, every phono system has the potential for, for noise and most of them don't <clears throat> excuse me, don't have a noise problem. I mean, let, let's be honest. But that certainly is the potential because there's a huge amount of gain in a phono system, especially a moving coil system. So, basics. A phono preamplifier has gain of about 100, which means for one millivolt in, you get 100 millivolts out and that's at one kilohertz. And then we have this thing called the RAAA curve, which is this big equalization curve that makes up for the big equalization curve on a record, and so it all comes out flat, okay? So a moving magnet cartridge, which is the one that you would be concerned with, especially about capacitive loading, because the resistive loading is almost always 47 uh, uh, kilo ohms. Okay, so 47k is the standard impedance for moving magnets, and there you want to change the capacitance, and and that rolls off the top or less, more or less, and you can look on your cartridge to see. When we go to moving coil cartridges, now we need another 30 dB of gain. So we have 40 dB of gain in the main phono stage. Now we're going to take another 30 dB of gain in what we call our moving coil head amp, which in the Stellar product and most modern phono preamplifiers is built in. Now you have 70 dB of gain. That's a lot. That's, let's see, a thousand is 60 dB, so I, I don't know. Anyway, it's a lot, trust me. Now there, phono cartridge loading for impedance turns out to be rather important if it's a moving coil. So that's where the controls in the back of the Stellar, for instance, where you can adjust the impedance of what the phono cartridge sees turns out to be pretty important, and that's sonically. So you can do that. I always recommend people look at what the cartridge manufacturer recommends, then start playing, make sure all your VTA on your, uh, which, which is the vertical tracking angle, this, uh, angle of the tone arm, lots of stuff to get right. But once you do, you can uh, feel free to mess around with those because if you raise the impedance on a moving coil cartridge, you'll get a bit more top end. So if it's sounding a little dull, raise the, raise it up. I, I have run moving coils as high as 50 kilohertz, 47 kilohertz, and some of them have sounded great. That's not recommended, but it surely doesn't hurt anything. So feel free to mess around. And yeah, I think you'd be fine with a Stellar phone on. I wouldn't worry about the, the noise business, especially since you said you've never had a grounding problem. They are rare. Okay. Thanks for the question. Good luck out there.